from I'm from here, man. You know, so it's you know I'm you know just right across the, the bridge, man. So it's like you know, I grew up you know listening to Chicago radio, watching Chicago sports. I gotta come over here to go to the club, ain't no clubs <laughs> where I'm from. So you know, this this home, you know. All the people in Indiana hate me because I don't like the Colts. I don't like the Pacers, man. I'm from here, and I'm and I'm explaining this. One time, one that's it. I ain't saying it no more, man. Cause it's like it's crazy, man. I always get killed by the Pacer fans, killed by the Colts fans. But uh, I'm from Gary, man, and we don't like the Colts or the Pacers. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, no sugar coating it. Like we're Bulls fans, bro. We're Bulls, Bears fans, man. Like we don't like the Colts. No, you know y'all took our uh, Super Bowl from us in '06. Well, Rex Grossman gave it to you. We don't like the uh, the Pacers for what? I mean, Michael Jordan choked Reggie Miller. Why would I like the Pacers? I'm, I mean, you know, I'm across in the state line in Indiana, but uh, nah, man, I'm a Bulls fan until I die. You know, what I mean, the only uh, outside team that I root for that's not from Chicago is the Dodgers, because I live in LA and I'm a Dodger fan. I've been living in LA almost ten years, so I've been living in LA longer than Tupac lived in LA. So I'm definitely a Dodger fan. Um, I be at games. So you gotta root for the Dodgers. How can you not root for the Dodgers? They let the first black man play baseball. Definitely Dodger fan. My idea of a perfect Sunday definitely ain't going to church, bro. Um, <laughs> just chilling, watching the Bears, man. Watching the Bears, barbecue. I live in LA, so I said barbecue when I watch the Bears. So it's just like, you know, either watching the Bears in, in the crib in LA, barbecuing, you know what I mean, chilling, or being here at Soldier Field. That's perfect. That's the, the perfect Sunday. Being at Soldier Field, I don't care if it's 30 degrees below. You know what I'm saying? My girl took me to a Bears game, man. That's, that's I'm, spe I'm speechless. Every time I go to a Bears game, man, I'm go to the field, all that, man. So, uh, I'm, my love for the Bears is unspeakable. I can't even, it's crazy, man. I love Walter Payton, the, the old teams of the 80s. I'm mad I won't have Urlacher no more. It's Bear Nation, man. I'm gonna keep it pushing, man. Bears for life, so. That's a perfect Sunday, being at Soldier Field. You don't get no better than that. It's something different, you know what I mean, from what we used to seeing in the South. You know, they made Atlanta proud. They made the South proud. They wasn't following the trend. Always work, man. Never stop working. Um, if you're working on a project, if you just have an idea, work on that idea. If Dr. Dre wasn't working before Coachella, we wouldn't have never had a Tupac hologram. I probably put my first verse in there, that's all. And like, he brought everybody who was in the studio in there to listen to it after I was done. Tyler, the creator, uh, Jeremiah. And I don't even think that he talked on anybody else's record besides mine. So I had made sure that I got yams on the song. It was gonna either be yams or Puff Daddy. And I got yams on there. 